Welcome to Great Day Live, everybody. Dan Dry is one of America's most widely recognized photographers. He has won over 400 national and international photography, advertising, and design awards. Now, during his career, he's been making history since he was really, really young. He was a member of the Courier Journal's Pulitzer Prize winning photography staff from 1976 to 1982 while still in high school. Mr. Dry made history again at the age of 16 when he was part of a team that finished as runner-up to the New York Times for the Pulitzer Prize. So we are so honored to have him in the studio today, along with some of his most iconic photographs, right? Dan, good to Thank see you, you again. I am thrilled to be back again. I'm excited to see you. You know, you were in the studio along uh, with Apron Inc. because right. you're a, a board member, board member with that. them. And yep. so we were talking and you brought in um, are arguably one of your most recognizable pictures. And I'm just so curious, I mean, throughout your career, how, how in the world you got into this in the first place? And people always wanna know, how do you approach people in these, in these moments to capture like that shot, right? So I've been taking pictures since I was 15 years old. I grew up in Ohio. I had a journalism teacher in high school who liked the way I wrote. Mm -hmm. um, she taught humanities and I was in a humanities class like that and she said why don't you try out for the school paper uh, like any 15 year old boy I didn't want to write more than I had to <laughs> yeah, um, I know that. <laughs> and she goes we have an opening for a photographer so I borrowed my mother's camera um, took a bunch of pictures around the school and they put me on the staff which was great because I got to as a freshman hang out with the uh, older kids yeah and um, it worked uh, all through uh, high school at my town paper, mm -hmm. uh, ended up coming, uh, uh, worked at National Geographic as an intern twice uh, when I was at Ohio University, and um, ended up coming to the Courier Journal uh, as a pregnancy replacement for one of the photographers, mm -hmm. a three month gig, and um, that was when uh, I shot, um, my most iconic photo ever, probably of Muhammad Ali, the stuff we're looking at uh, now, this is uh, this Corbell. This is a lot of your work from Price Weber, yeah, right? Yeah, this is this year, Rich Strike for Churchill Downs. Uh, obviously, the jockey was very happy, very 80 to happy. one odds. What is going through your mind when you know, okay, you know, when we're reporters and we're waiting for that sound bite, we're ready. But when you're a photographer waiting for that moment, how do you make sure I'm going to capture not only the moment, but just the right angle of that moment. Well, Claudia, I've always called it, and it is not an original expression of mine, when luck meets anticipation. Oh, yeah. So, and this uh, classic picture from this year, and fun because uh, a lot of the other stuff that uh, you showed was uh, my work at Price Weber, yeah. where I'm uh, managing director of the content creation studio. Uh, get to do a lot of great things for our uh, clients there, uh, for uh, Brown Foreman, do a lot of work for GE, KFC, got mm -hmm. to photograph Jack, Har Jack Harlow, which I think. Tell me more, uh, how was that? that, how was that? Tell he me. was absolutely yeah. incredible, absolutely amazing. And um, just uh, great uh, to work with, and that was part of the Kentucky Pride Favorites mm -hmm. uh, campaign we did last year. But uh, well, I want to talk about the, the, you know, the Muhammad Ali picture because you, yeah. you brought me a copy of that. How old was Muhammad Ali then? Believe it or not, and I play this game, I asked Mark earlier, I play this game with a lot of people. I say, don't look at the date. Okay, okay. You tell me, Claudia, how old was Muhammad Ali in that picture? I'm going to say in his tw uh, 20. And I'm gonna say pretty darn good looking 38. What? Don't you think? Is that what? not amazing? No, I yep. didn't know that. I did not um, know that. that was, How old were you when you took I that picture? I was 19. 19 um, years old, shot it, capturing uh, that picture. And at Trinity High School in the locker room, he was doing an exhibition match with then an unknown boxer, Greg Page, who obviously he's deceased now, but um, went on to become a, a big time a champ. Um, How did you approach him to get this picture? I was in the locker room with he and his family. Um, 
he got up and he had a roll of tape and he went into the restroom and I gave him a couple minutes and I thought I'm gonna follow him I'm gonna follow him <laughs> and hopefully he's taping his hands not doing something else right. and uh, I knocked on the door and said champ can I come in in fact if you google Dan Dry champ can I come in uh, there is a whole story about it that Salon.com did uh, when he deceased the uh, picture mm -hmm. is on uh, in the permanent collection at the Speed Museum. It's a remarkable picture. And remarkable. so uh, just, um, you know, I, I give it away, our company gives it away to charity auctions um, mm. all the time and it's raised literally thousands up on thousands up on thousands up on thousands for different charities around the city Easily. and it's also for safety. We have a little bit of time left and I want to make sure we also talk about the iconic yep. Twin Spires picture. So uh, that I did a few years ago as I say I work uh, on a contract for Derby Week uh, for KentuckyDerby.com and actually cool enough mm -hmm. have been uh, doing That's that. That's a cool gig, Dan. <laughs> That's a <laughs> no really kidding. great gig. Have been doing that <laughs> since the inception of the website. Yeah. So uh, get to go out Derby Week and uh, one of the things that I'm always trying to do is look for different angles because you're out there truly every morning at dawn all week. Uh, so uh, and that photo uh, got into the area called the mansion mm -hmm. uh, and shot over the track. That. So that was uh, a lot of fun uh, to do that. Well, and Dan, just uh, having a great career and loving every second of it. And every time we see your pictures, we feel something else, right? And I guess that, that, is, the, that is the whole beauty of, of your art. And I can't thank you enough for coming in today. Thank you so much. Well, I cannot thank you enough for having me. This has just been great. And, uh, and I'll see you at all the Derby you festivities. The, I'll be there. <laughs> There. Yep. Hey, if you want to follow Dan Dry because he does post a lot of pictures, do follow him on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, just LinkedIn. to see LinkedIn, just to see his daily work is really uh, just a fun thing. You can also go to his website at dandry.com.